ABC, so uh, I thought I would do a video uh, about collecting in general and sort of, yeah, just sort of my thoughts on it. Uh, I know we all sort of got a big shock a couple weeks ago when Jeff Recordman announced that he was going to be selling, well, his first announcement that he was going to be selling his whole collection, and then he came back and said, well, he's just selling a large part of his set collection, you know, mostly just the uh, the rock stuff, um, which is still a huge shock, especially coming from Jeff, since he's always been the guy that's been, you know, never sell anything, don't sell anything, don't sell your records, you know, just, he's been that guy, and he's, he's been someone I've been watching for a long time. It was quite a shock to see, see his video and try to wrap my head around that as to what the reasoning behind it was, what would cause somebody to do that, and then sort of going through the emotions of, well, what what is my collection about? What it, you know, is it? Will it get to a point where it's it's you know in control of me? I'm not in control of it, or is it already there? Because um, you know, I have, as I've said before, I have my collection is sort of has grown beyond these two shelves here and it's I've got it piled under my desk and piled up along the wall over here and um, it's really hard to keep things under control and uh, you know as I've said if I if I stopped buying vinyl I would still have several years before I would be able to listen to all the things I've bought uh, just in the just since the VC started you know when when I, when I started in the VC uh, my collection was probably like three crates, probably like three of these cubes here, um, and, and that was that was what I had. And and then the VC, the combination of of finding a new turntable at a thrift store that I, that I, that was a lot better than what I had, and and the VC sort of uh, exposing me to newer newer music and different music, and uh, sort of helping me uh, get out of my comfort zone and and explore explore the world of music that's just so amazing it's uh, my collection has just exploded literally, literally and so it's it's really hard to to keep it under control and um, have it all make sense and it's something you know ever since Jeff's announcement a couple weeks ago it's something I've been I've been thinking about a lot uh, I, I, it took me back to thinking, well, why do I buy? Why do I buy vinyl? Is it is it just because I want to own a lot of vinyl, or or what is it? And and the realization I've come to is that I buy vinyl because it's the format I enjoy listening to music the most on. It's it's what I get the most enjoyment out of. Um, I don't necessarily need to keep things I buy on vinyl, but I do want to hear them. So. That's sort of moved moved me on to realizing that I don't have to keep everything that I bought. You know, I, I I have a ways I have ways to get rid of things. I have a discog store that I can list things in. Um, I can I can free donate things to thrift stores, or I can uh, put them in a yard sale. I mean, I don't have to keep everything that I buy and. And there's no way that I can like everything I buy. I buy, I buy a lot of records not knowing at all what what they sound like. I buy things that just just the cover makes me think, oh, this might be something good. Or I buy things that somebody on the VC has talked about and said said it was really good. And I was like, uh, and I see it, and I'm crate digging somewhere, and I say, I, you know, so and so said that was great. I I think I'll give it a shot. You know, it sounds like something I might like, and I don't buy it. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean I do like it. it. Doesn't you know? It doesn't necessarily mean that I have to keep it. But um, I think I think what I've the realization I've come to is that I need to be. I need to only keep things I really like. Um, in the past, I've sort of kept things that almost everything I've kept that I've listened to. Uh, if you're familiar with my uh, Survivor videos, you know there's very few that that don't make it, um, and I think moving forward there's going to be a lot more that don't make it. Um, 
but yeah, it's been it's been it's been an emotional journey for the past couple of weeks, and it's been a, an interesting uh, thought process to go through and really rethink my collection and rethink my my life with vinyl moving forward and how do I keep how do I keep my collection my collection of st you know just stuff that I really like uh, without letting it get out of hand completely and and be able to continue to grow uh, as I grow and as I get older um, and not have it totally take over my life and be be something that that you know is I feel is controlling me, and I'm not in control of it. I know, Jeff, you probably won't see this, but thank you for uh, sort of inspiring these thoughts and uh, making us all, I think all of us have been uh, sort of rethinking our collection the past couple weeks, and I've, I've sort of seen it in people in their videos, whether they've said it or not. I've seen people sort of rethinking how they're collecting, what they're doing with what they're buying, different, different things like that. So that's sort of where I'm at on things. Uh, I'm going to continue to buy anything and everything that either just looks interesting to me or if it's something I've heard somebody else talk about and I thought I wanted to give it a shot. Um, I'm going to continue to continue to buy those things, uh, but, but the difference being that uh, when I do listen to them, if it doesn't really strike me, it doesn't really grab me, um, I'm not, I'm not going to be keeping it. You know, it's got to be... I, I gotta keep things that I like, and I can't keep things just because somebody else says it's good. You know, I, 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 my collection needs to be my collection, and I, that's 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 how it's gotta be. I think that's that's a good compromise for me. Um, I I do enjoy buying things that I know nothing about, buying things I've never heard, uh, buying things on recommendations. Um, and I just enjoy, I enjoy that part of it. I enjoy that aspect of it uh, almost as much as I enjoy just listening to the music. Um, so, and when I do listen to the music, if I don't like it, it doesn't stay. That's, that's got to be the way it's, it's got to be from here on out um, to, to allow this to continue on in the future. So those are my thoughts. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's having a, a great week. And um, remember, crate digging is not a crime. Get out there and do some. Cheers.